able to manage the affairs in their life in the way that they want to manage them. They know what kind of work they want to do, where they want to live, and finding a way to assist them in accomplishing those goals while allowing them to still live a, a healthy and safe life. Um, so there's no need to put them in, in an institution if putting them in an apartment, you know, in the community and having uh, a nurse stop by once a day to help with medications. That's the better approach than placing them away somewhere else to receive like around the clock care that they don't need. So, uh, so making sure that they're as included is the, the big key there. You spoke of a systematic problem earlier mm -hmm. uh, with regards, but uh, what is being done about it to actually like uh, eliminate those uh, problems? One of the biggest things that was done was about 15 years, there was a Supreme Court decision um, called Olmstead. And the Olmstead decision literally said, in terms of legal work, that people receiving some types of services, usually uh, medical or like housing assistance services, need to receive those services in the least restrictive setting. That case led to the, basically, the, the that case led to states um, stopping with their institutionalization of people with intellectual disabilities. And that's been the, the biggest leap forward in terms of the inclusion, the inclusion. And then we had the ADA, which dealt with a lot of um, access issues like buses, ramps to getting into stores, things like that. Those were physical facility issues that were mostly kept. And they also made actual discrimination in employment against the law. Somebody saying, I'm not going to hire you because you're in a wheelchair. I'm not going to hire you because you're deaf. There's been laws put in place in the last 25 years. The ADA is 25 years old. Olmstead's 15 or 16, right in that realm. And those are the big moves. Since then, in 2008, the ADA was amended to make it more broad because courts interpreted the original ADA in, in, a, in a way that was more restrictive than, they were, than the legislation intended it to be. So they made it broader to make it uh, more protective of people with disabilities. But um, there's only so much you can do with the law itself. In order to make society more inclusive, you need to let everybody know just how capable people with disabilities are and not to make these baseline assumptions. Um, people, people make assumptions about other people for millions of reasons, like accent, um, weight, disability. People always want to assume they know about other people. Hi there. Excuse me, did he just pop in here? He did. Me? Okay. <laughs> Am I interrupting you guys, or are you, are you somewhere you're supposed to be? Um, no. Were you here earlier today? Yes. Okay. And you don't have an appointment? Can I ask? Can I not ask questions? Okay, I have a number that I can refer you to for the DC bar, where you can communicate with somebody. This isn't the venue to typically do this unless he wants to do this with you. Sorry, I thought you were one of our summer interns. <laughs> Is he not uh, not I'm a not, bar employee? No. I'm not a bar employee, but I'm here to inquire about disability rights. Though. Okay, well I'll give you my card then, because it seems like you're not supposed to be in here. I'll give you my card. And you can always give me a call or shoot me an email. Okay. And that's probably the better way to do it. So, so that's me. You can always shoot me an email. I can answer specific questions. But yeah, you can't be just wandering in. <laughs> Well, I was hoping that someone, uh, because I have previously spoke about disability rights in this country as it relates to equal treatment. The main issues I have raised and uh, there is, uh, is that uh, I've noticed that people were not treated the same. And uh, That's pretty standard, yeah. But I'm going to, again, recommend you gi giving me a, a call or shooting me an email with specific questions. Or if you want referral out to certain other groups, I can do that. But um, we'll like say it's time for you to go, though. So. Okay. I, I can definitely leave. Sorry. Yeah, there's going to be one or two ways this goes. No, no, okay? I, I can definitely leave. Okay. Yeah, I'd recommend time to go. I'm just trying to be polite and gentlemanly, and this gentleman seemed to be giving you some good information. We're not trying to hurt you, but there's not 150 lawyers here for people to come up and just ask questions. I have a number downstairs. I will give you the paper. You can reach out to somebody. You can reach back out to him through email, and that's how we handled this here. Okay. Uh, uh, are you saying that uh, 
I'm so, saying you're an unauthorized person in this space. You went through the door. You weren't supposed to be here. But I knocked you were on up the here door twice. You've been up here twice today. You were asked to leave once. That's not exactly true. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to get into parts and all these words. Well, no, 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 no parts. But like, uh, I'm just making like. Uh, you're you know, trying to get some information. What? Uh, I knocked on his door and I asked him questions about disability rights. I know, but rights. you come through the space that is secured space on a false premise. So we need to go outside. Here. False premise? Yeah. I have you don't not. Have an appointment. Did you have an appointment with Mr. Patrick Dennis? No, you didn't. What? So let's go. <laughs> well, I did not have an appointment, but are you saying that I was here I'm on a false that premise? You were up here earlier today. You went to the reception. They told you that they could not help you. Well, uh, they actually didn't say that. Okay. What but did he say? What did the man say? Uh, the man uh, said that uh, provided the number, basically. I basically wanted to talk to someone about the rule of law well, and the Constitution. The and I also wanted to talk to, to someone with the bar with regards to disability rights. Uh, those are three issues I have written extensively about. And, uh, but you need an appointment for this stuff. I'm not saying that you wouldn't be t dealt with, but you need to contact the right people to make an appointment to talk to somebody. And this that's why I gave you the information. We just don't sneak in the door when the doors open and knock on doors and ask people for help. Well, uh, I never asked for help. I asked, okay. him, I asked him, first of all, like, I think we should be clear. I asked him more about the law. I asked him more about okay. disability so how rights. How did you get into this space? How did you walk into this space? Do you have a key? I have to have a key to get into this space. See this? That means I have permission to go in this space. Okay? Do you have a key? Well, the door was previously open. I know. So you walked into space you weren't supposed to be in. That's unauthorized entry. Well, now, I'm going to say this again. Well, We're going to move. The door was previously open. It's not I like know. I burst it I, open I or like... Uh, the door uh, was open uh, because somebody is walking out of it or coming in it. We're, we're going downstairs. <laughs> you don't have an appointment here. I'll give you a number where you can make an appointment. This gentleman was nice enough to give you his card. He's filming me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. To me. Okay. Doesn't well, because I, otherwise this you cannot. No, no. Because property. because you cannot say that this I, for example, I bursted. I bursted through the door, or okay. that it's I committed. Private property. Let's go. You cannot say I bursted through the door or committed okay. any act that was illegal. You can you can you can, can you say that though? Can you say that? Can you say that I bursted through the door and committed an illegal activity? You were in a space when unauthorized entry. Well, the door was previously open, and I previously yeah. talked to the. Obviously, you, a man took advantage of a situation. Let's go. Advantage of a situation. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you.